Well, first I have to ask you about that big decision that just came down from the Federal Court of Appeal to agree to hear some of the challenges for Trans Mountain. And what's your reaction to that? Well, you know, that wouldn't have been our first choice. Uh, disappointed that they're going to hear some of the challenges. Um, perhaps not entirely surprised. And, it, you know, I think really at this point it doesn't change anything. Uh, we continue to advocate that, uh, that we need additional pipeline access to the coast. This project has been approved twice. We simply need to get it built. One of the executives here in the oil industry wrote to me a short time ago saying, back into the mud we go. And are you hearing that level of frustration in Calgary and Alberta in general over this? You know, there's great frustration across Alberta uh, about the fact that um, pipeline access uh, and new pipeline development has been so delayed and so misrepresented uh, in the public. It is uh, really uh, statistically such a safe way to move energy products. Um, and, and of course, again, the wealth uh, creation that the energy industry pro provides not only for Alberta but for the nation is so critical to our, to our quality of life here in, in Canada and certainly Alberta. Uh, we simply need to get these pipelines completed. Now to turn to the McKinnon report and obviously what you've been talking about today with Alberta's finances, it's so heavily dependent on the revenues we get from the oil and gas industry. How big of a concern is it that these pipelines keep getting delayed? Well, I mean, I mean uh, we campaigned on the fact that we would balance the budget uh, in our first term, so uh, within four years. And again, during the campaign, we uh, committed to holding spending flat and growing the economy. And we've uh, put several measures in place that we're confident over time will grow the economy. Um, but when we came to office, we realized that the finances were uh, in more difficult shape than we had imagined. And so that we realized we would have to uh, restrain spending. Our, the McKinnon panel report, I think, has, uh, has uh, affirmed that, that we can uh, not, only, not only will we have to uh, grow the economy and increase revenues, uh, but we will need to restrain sp spending to balance in our first term. One of the criticisms we've heard is about the slashing of some of the corporate taxes, going from 12% to 11%, but at the same time maybe turning around and slashing spending when it comes to health and education, possibly, this fall in the budget. How do you respond to that? Well, I, I would say this. The McKinnon panel report was clear that Alberta spends $10.4 billion more per year uh, per capita than Ontario, than the average of Ontario, BC, and Ontario. We, we don't have a, a revenue problem in this province, we have a spending problem. And so it, it's uh, critically important that uh, we uh, become better managers of Alberta's hard-earned taxpayers' dollars. Uh, now I'll say this, uh, growing the economy is, uh, continues to be uh, a, a vital interest to our government. We ran on the mandate of growing the economy um, creating more jobs and opportunities for Albertans. And that's why we implemented the job creation tax cut. Uh, reputable economists have uh, suggested that that uh, tax reduction uh, will generate uh, up to 55,000 additional jobs uh, over the next few years. That's critical not only to Albertans who are looking for a job, but that's critical to the province's finances. But on that, we have heard from some corporations that they're actually using that tax cut to pay down their own debt as opposed to creating those jobs, starting those new projects. Will you continue cutting that down to 8% by 2022 if it just turns out it's not working? You know, we made a commitment uh, to bring our corporate tax rate from 12 to 8%. We will do that. And again, we're confident that that um, measure will attract investment. You know, we recognize that right now, particularly in the energy industry, with, uh, with, with limited egress, with limited um, opportunity to move product, that uh, that has also been um, a deterrent to investment, and that's why we need additional pipeline capacity. Uh, but there's, um, you know, th there's a, a broad economy out there, uh, and, and a diversified uh, economic opportunity here to uh, lower our corporate tax rate, create a very competitive business environment, and have investment uh, from all sectors um, land in the province and grow the economy. Now, one thing that we've also heard in the report that you, we're going to need to find cuts of about $600 million per year for the next four years. Do you expect we're going to need to find more than that if we continue having this situation without that egress capacity? Well, you, you know, the, the, um, the panel, the McKinnon panel uh, was, uh, was, was quite uh, clear that 
we were going to need to find $600 million in savings, in terms of uh, spending savings. I would suggest it will need to be more than that to provide a contingency for the revenue volatility that we face in this province. Any responsible government would ensure that, uh, that we have enough contingency, uh, again, to allow for fluctuation in energy prices. How much more? Well, that's to be determined. Uh, we'll determine that when we roll out our budget. Uh, but, uh, but again, I think to try to hit this thing right on the button uh, will provide just too great a risk that we might miss it uh, should we see, again, uh, energy price fluctuation that we hadn't anticipated. Fair enough. Now, my last question would be, we are getting the sense that there are some big cuts coming, of course. We've got union groups and labour groups already a little bit up in arms. There was some hint of legislation possibly being introduced um, yesterday when this was announced. How far are you willing to go on this? Well, here's, here's the reality. We, um, I absolutely appreciate uh, and respect the fact that the public sector is a partner uh, with government in delivering high quality services to Albertans. And we know that Albertans expect their government to continue to deliver high quality services and we take that seriously. Uh, we believe that we can do that um, while we find efficiencies, remove redundancies and find better ways to deliver services to Albertans. And I think this McKinnon panel report uh, showing that we have a $10 billion overspend in this province. Uh, by virtue of that fact, uh, we know that we can deliver better and in a more efficient manner. In, in terms of uh, the public sector, um, we again recognize that they're an important partner and, uh, and we're uh, looking forward to going forward with them. And uh, you know, our first goal will obviously be to come to a negotiated solution. Uh, a solution that uh, that's agreeable to all parties, but uh, but we will be responsible with Albertans' hard-earned tax dollars, and uh, the public sector um, spend is a big part of our budget, so uh, we take that seriously. Great. Thank you so much for your time today. Oh, you're welcome.